वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू अनदर न्यू वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ हिमोफीलिया द एग्जांपल ऑफ सेक्स लिंक डिजीजेस हियर वी गोना टॉक अबाउट इट्स डेफिनेशन कॉजेस अफेक्ट रेट और द इंसिडेंस टाइप्स एंड इनहेरिटेंस आवर क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे इज कैन हिमोफीलिया प्रिवेंटेड कैन इट बाय न्यू मेथड्स सो वी विल गेट इट्स आंसर एज यूजुअल इन लास्ट ऑफ माय वीडियो सो स्टे ट्यून्ड सो इन डेफिनेशन वी नो दैट Hemophilia is the dyandric sex or X-linked trait which is inherited from father to daughter and then to sons or grandsons. If you want to know about the types of sex-linked inheritance, then link is in my description below. Go through it and recall. Okay, so now come to its word derivation. As we know that uh, hemophilia, the word derived from the Greek word hyma, which means blood and philein means to like a constitutional tendency to excessive bleeding when any blood vessel is even slightly injured that is clotting doesn't occur and this disease transmitted from mother to son so normally males are affected the most by the uh, hemophilia disease but uh, why only male why don't the females are well Each person inherits two sex chromosomes from their parents. Females have two X chromosomes and male have one X and one Y chromosome. If the females are infected, then the mutation may be marked by the second healthy copy of the X chromosome. They have the potential to carry a normal gene on the X chromosome, but the males are not. because they have the only x chromosome and another one is y so that uh, they are always the uh, affected person a process in our body that's known as the coagulation cascade normally stops bleeding blood platelets coagulate or get together at uh, the wound site to form a clot then the body's clotting factors work together to create more permanent plug in that wound but a low level of these clotting factors or the absence of them causes bleeding to continue this disease is also known as the royal disease because hemophilia gene was passed from queen victoria's family who was queen of england in 19th to 20th century or uh, to the ruling families of russia and Queen Victoria's gene for hemophilia was caused by spontaneous mutation. Many of her uh, son and uh, daughter are carrier and uh, affected too. Now come to its causes. We know that hemophilia is an inherited genetic condition meaning it is passed down through families. It's caused by a defect in the gene that determines how the body makes factors 8 9 or 11 these genes are located on the x chromosome making the hemophilia an x linked recessive disease and in the lack of formation of prothrombin activators deficiency of factors 8 9 and 11 this disease is caused according to risk factors of inheriting hemophilia it is of uh, two types hemophilia a and hemophilia b these are the most common diseases seen in males so we know that to stop bleeding simply whether the bleeding happens internally or externally the clotting of normal blood is due to the action of a group of proteins those are the clotting factors a hemophilia patients loses it means uh, patients blood however contains less than the normal amount of some clotting factor so they bleed longer here you can see that a mother is maybe carrier or uh, normal but uh, never be affected in uh, she is affected in some rare cases but uh, usually not and another another side the father is affected or it may be normal but never be a carrier and it is why because we already discussed about so now it's time to discuss the incidence hemophilia a and hemophilia b are the common hemophilias so hemophilia a are 
वन इन फाइव थाउजेंड ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन एंड हीमोफीलिया बी वन इन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इन ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू सिम्टम्स हीमोफीलिया इज डिवाइडेड इन टू माइल्ड हीमोफीलिया मोट हीमोफीलिया सीवियर हीमोफीलिया देन इनहेरिटिंग हीमोफीलिया बट इट इज कॉमनली डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर टाइप्स दैट इज हीमोफीलिया ए हीमोफीलिया बी हीमोफीलिया सी एंड पारा हीमोफीलिया डिजीज तो फर्स्ट टू आर एक्सलिंग रिसेसिव एंड द सेकेंड टू आर ऑटोजोमल रिसेसिव नाउ वी विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन हीमोफीलिया ए इज डिफिशियंसी ऑफ फैक्टर एट एंड इट इज ऑफ एक्स लिंक्ड रिसेसिव इनहेरिटेंस दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ हीमोफीलिया एंड इट इज द सीवियर टाइप ऑफ हीमोफीलिया एंड इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द क्लासिक हीमोफीलिया नाउ हीमोफीलिया बी दिस इज द सेकेंड मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ हीमोफीलिया एंड द मॉडरेट टाइप ऑफ हीमोफीलिया एंड इट इज ड्यू टू द डेफिशियंसी ऑफ फैक्टर नाइन एंड इट इज द टाइप ऑफ एक्स लिंक्ड रिसेसिव इनहेरिडेंस एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड क्रिसमस डिजीज हियर द डिग्रीज ऑफ सिवियरिटी इज ओनली टू टू फाइव परसेंट हीमोफीलिया सी इज अ माइल्ड फॉर्म ऑफ हीमोफीलिया एंड इट इज ड्यू टू द डिफिशियंसी ऑफ फैक्टर इलेवन एंड इट इज ऑफ ऑटोजोमल रिसेसिव इनहेरिटेंस then come to para hemophilia disease it is due to the deficiency of factor 5 uh, and it is also the autosomal recessive inheritance beside these four types of hemophilia we have another one uh, disease that is von willebrand disease it is it is due to the factor deficiency of 8 uh, that is vw v for von and w for willebrand and it is of autosomal dominant inheritance type now we will see the inheritance of hemophilia it is like a rolling dice and uh, the result of one roll do not affect the next roll okay and we gonna see the cross proofs in three different cases so first one is if the father is without hemophilia or uh, normal and the mother is carrier in second case if the father with hemophilia and mother is normal and in third case if the father is with hemophilia and mother is the carrier then what's gonna the condition is so first case is father is without hemophilia means normal father with mother who is a carrier then the condition is like this that uh, we can see here clearly that uh, father is labeled with uh, uh, xy and mother is with uh, xx so if the boy gets the y chromosome from the father it will be a boy the son can get from the mother either her x chromosome with her hemophilia gene or the x chromosome with the normal blood clotting gene if the son gets his mother's x chromosome with the hemophilia gene he will be um have uh, hemophilia if he inherits the mother's other x chromosome he will have normal blood clotting so the result is here that a 25% one in four chance of having a daughter with who is carrier and 25% chance of having a son with hemophilia then 50% chance of having a child that is boy or girl who doesn't have the gene for hemophilia at all in second case of inheritance we will see if the father is with hemophilia crosses with the mother who is not a carrier means the normal mother then what will be the situation is and what will be the condition should be so if the baby gets the y chromosome from the father it will be a boy since the y chromosome doesn't carry the hemophilia gene a son born to a man with hemophilia and a woman who is not a carrier will not have hemophilia and if the baby gets the x chromosome from the father it will be a girl the x chromosome from the father with hemophilia will have the hemophilia gene but the girl also gets the x chromosome from her mother too so the normal blood clotting gene on the x chromosome from the mother is dominant so the baby girl will not have hemophilia she will however be a hemophilia carrier since she has the hemophilia gene on one of her x chromosome so in this case 
all sons born to the couple will be normal and all daughters will be the hemophilia carriers in third case we will see if the situation is like father with hemophilia and it uh, crosses uh, with the mother who is a carrier then here you can see that the father sex chromosome are labeled with uh, xy with the x chromosome carrying the hemophilia gene the father only passes half of his sex chromosome to the baby either the x or the y if the baby gets the y chromosome then it will be a boy and if uh, if the boy gets his mother's x chromosome with the hemophilia gene he will have hemophilia so here the results is uh, like a 25% means 1 in 4 chances of having a son with hemophilia, 25% chances of having a son with normal blood. Likewise, 25% chances of having a daughter who is a carrier and 25% chances of having a daughter who has hemophilia. So that's it. Now we will discuss about that can hemophilia prevented means is there a cure for hemophilia so the answer is there is currently no cure for hemophilia but in rare cases people with hemophilia who have had liver transplants have been cured clotting factor is produced in the liver and in these cases the new liver are the patients received made normal amounts of clotting factors and by replacing the clotting factor uh, the hemophilia treatment management strategies like this uh, prevention of bleeding episodes uh, gene therapy uh, desmopressin and other therapies also uh, carried out here so they should more careful about their health and always in uh, prescribed medication and exercises for their better health here are your doubts in comment section below and if you really get benefited through these lectures then do like share and subscribe my channel